What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to flash this AOS IP Android Q unofficial ROM well this is the latest one and it kind of needs it says as you can see from the telegram group I'll put the link for this in the description box below so don't worry it says that it needs to flash the like latest firmware I'm not gonna flash the firmware quite because I'm on the 993 firmware and I will see if it actually works to flash with the like stable version orange fox recovery and i'll use the nano g apps of course from open g apps because as you can see it needs the g apps the g apps does not include in the rom file itself here i have already downloaded the rom file already says it's added like dynatives modded firmware and stuff so it may or may not need the latest firmware but i'm not sure i'm currently on the havoc os right now the latest havoc os official one but i'll try to flash this one because i want to see that what happens if you try to flash this ROM and I think with this same method you can flash the modded unofficial pixel experience ROM too but I haven't downloaded that so I'm not sure about that but I'll try to flash this AOS IP unofficial build this is the latest one unofficial one so let me just boot into the recovery before doing anything make sure you have a backup of your whole system so I've just booted into the recovery this is the stable version of like orange fox recovery the R10 so I'll just go to wipe, then wipe Dalvi, cache, system and data. These four things I'll just swipe to wipe. And because I'm decrypted, I will have to flash the fcrypt of course. Now let's go to the storage. And here I'll select the ROM file. Now add to Q, I'll select the nano G apps file. Then add to Q, I'll select the fcrypt disabler. And I'll swipe to and see what happens. Well, it's flashing the ROM it looks like. It doesn't give me error 7 or something. So that's a good side that you don't need to flash the latest firmware which is the chinese like 912 or something i'm still on the 993 firmware by the way so here i see a good sign that it shows the boot animation so seems like it's booting into the system so actually in this ROM you don't need to flash the latest firmware so even if you are on the 993 I think you are still good to go. Maybe you will face some problems in the UI but I'm not sure about that I'll still have to test that so do stay tuned for the next video. So yeah I booted up into the system right now I'm gonna set the ROM up. This is just a quick video to show you guys that you can still flash like the latest ROMs, the unofficial ROMs like the Pixel Experience mod I guess and even the AOS IP unofficial one with your 993 firmware and with the stable orange box recovery you just need to like flash the gapps for this ROM for the Pixel Experience mod you don't need that and you need to flash the AppCrypt Disabler if you are decrypted. So that's it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tito from KD and Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one right now I'm gonna set up the ROM.